Brothers against brothers. Why? Uh, some of you that are Christians, or some of you that are no longer following African ways, you give that excuse that uh, there is So you give excuse the reason why you leave the African ways is because your ancestors we are killing each other or uh, we are doing human sacrifice they we are doing abominations you know evil things that's how you see because that's what those evil missionaries in Islam in Christianity taught you against you originally Africans weren't fighting against Africans, like killing them for no judgment. They only maybe sometimes fight for land. Of course, you know that children always fight against against each other for toys. But they never like kill themselves like animals or because of uh, money or because of uh, they are unproductive because, you know, our people are always unproductive. Uh, I mean, our people are always productive. So, I want you to know that you are doing worse than whatever you are wrongly accuse your ancestors. Uh, see what is going on in South Africa. Brothers attacking their own brothers, looting their shops, killing them. Asking them to leave South Africa. I don't blame them because they don't know what they're doing. I've been saying that your ancest our ancestors are better than us. Our ancestors were tricked and invaded, then defeated with weapons and forced them to accept uh, the foreign religions. And how they do that is if they kill the men. Then they force the women and the children to accept those religions. That's why I see many religions, when you go there, you see a lot of women and children there, not men. Yes. But some of you don't know that. Yeah, you don't know. That's why you think your religion, Christianity, Islam, or Judaism is of God. Why it is of the devil, demons. Those that invaded, killed, raped, enslaved your ancestors, our ancestors, they are the real demons. When you read your so-called holy books, yeah, that one that gives you the Bible, they call themselves God, they call themselves Jehovah, they call themselves Yahweh, they call themselves Jesus, they call themselves all that you see in the Bible, whatever you see God commanded killing or whatever you see devil did killing or evil demon, evil, evil spirit possess somebody. They're talking about those invaders themselves and they put them in the Bible or in the Quran where they ask you, tell you, like in the Quran they say they tell you to be beating your wife and all that, killing for Allah, all those committing jihad and all that. So all of them are blood sucking religion foreign religion now you are killing your brothers in South Africa you don't know what you are doing you are killing yourself and you will be killed of course that's the tenet that's the, the main thing our ancestors held whatever you do to your brother you are doing to yourself because it will come back to you Africans since uh, since after slavery, they haven't regained themselves, they haven't regained their senses. They are still living like animals that the slave, the slave uh, traffickers or the slave owners force them to become. Because they declare them animals and begin to treat them like that, begin to enslave them, begin to chain them down. 
Now, when you are doing all this, you are doing the work of your father, the slave master. Yeah, the slave master is your father. When you attack another Africa, when you come against another Africa, when you kill another African, you are doing the work of your father, the devil. That's the slave master. That's why they, they divided us and put those institutions and they make us to be killing each other. And we buy their weapons, buy their ideas, and using it against ourselves. I'm not asking you to stop killing because I understand the circle of life and death. If you like, go ahead and wipe all the villages. The same will happen to you. Karma. I don't mean religious karma. I mean natural karma, of course. If you kill people with gun, you'll be killed with gun. You see some people, they burn them alive because they stole little thing. They did that before. That's why I'm talking about. You have to know who, who, who you wear. You have to know you past, not your past. You past. Some people you see them. So I'm not afraid of death because in my former life, I, know, I did not kill anyone like that. Even in this life, I never kill anyone. Although I was once bad. I remember last month I was in Nigeria. So from uh, in the hotel where I was lodging, my car, the somebody stole the two things that cover the uh, the carrier or whatever they call it on top of the car. So they say it will cost 20,000 naira to, re to be replaced. So they don't know what I was thinking. I'm the only one that think about it. And I, I, I remember that I said, oh, I remember when I used to take other people's things from their car. Growing up as a teenager in Onitsha. You know the 404 things in front of a Peugeot a, 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 a pickup or salon. I used to use screwdriver and I go to old motor spare parts and sell it. So it paid me, but it did not pay me much. I said, that's karma. <laughs> so, but at least I can, I can replace it 20 times if I want to. So whatever you do is coming back to you. You are killing your brothers, okay. You support it, okay. You don't support it, okay. I don't support it. But I will not be crying again for Africans, telling them do this. No, you have your brain. If you like, activate it. If you like, don't activate it. Those that are weak will keep doing the great things. You have to use your brain and stop living like animals. You are, you are stop living like fools. You don't use your brain to think. Whatever the religion say you do, whatever your leader say you do. Don't tell me those people that are killing their brothers in, in South Africa are atheists. Don't tell me they don't believe in God. Will you tell me that nonsense? Of course, they believe in God or gods. Yeah, if they are not Christians, they are maybe traditionalists. South Africa is not a atheist country. They will, uh, maybe they will kill you if you say you are atheist. They will say, how oh, you are, must be a stupid person to say there is no God. Then where is the God when you are killing your brother, saying that uh, you are brothers from other parts of Africa that are responsible for your own productiveness? Nonsense. And God cannot bless you. The God they worship in South Africa. Africa have many men of so-called men of God. They have mega churches. You won't see them go and destroy churches, but they will kill lives, and they will come against uh, ab abortion. Tell you abortion is evil. Don't you are clear abortion is murder in South Africa. But see what is going on there. God did not prevent. Uh, brothers killing their brothers in South Africa. They call it xenophobia or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that shit because I hate it. And I hate the sight of it. Looting your brother's shop, killing your brothers and sisters. That is evil. And the, every evil you do will come back to you. It is called abomination in Africa. And sometimes the children have to do some cleansing or some, you know, carry out some rituals, as they say, to appease the gods of the land or to appease the land because the land speaks. You say, you know, okay, here, your Bible say, oh, it, hear ye the word of the Lord. So, it, that's why some, some of our people believe the earth is God you're talking about. 
everybody comes from the earth. Everything comes from the earth. And that's why when you die, you go back there. That's their belief. Where do the blood speak from? The blood of one you kill from the earth. It speaks from the earth. So earth is your home, your eternal home. Now all the religion in South Africa, the government in South Africa, the God and the gods in South Africa, they did not prevent brothers killing their own brothers in the name of the, uh, taking their jobs or making life unproductive to them. But before any foreigner jump into it like Americans, remember the same thing goes on in America. White people are against, or Americans are against immigrants. They say the people from Mexico, people from Africa, they are taking their job, people from uh, Haiti, they are taking their job and they are against them. It's the same thing with what is going on in, uh, in South Africa. So don't bring any shit telling me it's only Africa. Nothing that is happening in Africa that is not happening in America or in Europe, everywhere. But the white people, they always use legislation to do their own, or legislation where, to, to carry out their own evil. They make some laws you know begin to suppress some people and begin to uh, use uh, the police killing people secretly or for little thing they may kill you and say oh they thought you had gone nonsense because they want immigrants to go the same thing happening in africa even donald trump the president of america said the same thing he said he said to those immigrants that are coming uh, uh that are at the border they said our 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 country is full. <laughs> our country is full. Criminals saying his country is full. When you use other people's blood to build that country, you say it's full now because you make their own countries miserable through your evil means. Now your your your, your country is full. No, if it's full, you, you will begin to build high rising for everywhere. There should be no downstairs in America. Every house is supposed to be like a 100-story building so people can be living there. Nonsense. So what am I saying about the xenophobia? People who are against their own people, or brothers who are against their own brothers, killing them, it's like civil war also. Imagine if Nigerians begin to kill South Africans or other parts of Africans that, be, that have been killed in South Africa begin to kill South Africans in their land. What will happen? When will you rise up against your oppressors? You won't, but you are killing your brothers. You may say, oh, they do bad. Or how about you that is online wishing me to die? Yeah, some of you Christians, when you see me online, when you see my post, in your mind, what you are saying in your mind, die, die, die. May God strike you, may thunder strike you, may you die, die. die. You want me to die because of what I'm saying. I've not said anything against you, but against religion, they force on us, but you're against me. You think I'm attacking your God and your Jesus, and you are fighting for your God and your Jesus. You are not different from those who are looting and who are looting their brothers' shops and killing them in South Africa. You are a murderer if you are against me. I mean, an African. If you're an African Christian or African Muslim and you are against me speaking against Christianity or Islam, or you are African Jew and you are against me speaking against Judaism, you are a murderer. You are a killer. At least. Jesus said that in the Bible, right? They say Jesus said that in the Bible. Say if you hit your, your brother without cause, and say Raka, he say you are you are going to hell. <laughs> That's what Jesus said in the Bible. <laughs> so you may say, oh, I, uh, you, if you are condemning what is going on in South Africa, but you are against people like me on Facebook, you report our posts, you wish us you know blocked forever you wish us die you wish accident happen to us but you see as i'm driving back to work right accident will happen i'm driving nice car and i'm young i'm not old to have accident unless somebody hit me somebody hit me i keep going i, I can buy another car 
okay so it's nothing and uh, many christians many believers many men of god are dying in accident but i won't die like that even if i die it's good i die now i have nothing to lose i still coming back because this is my home it's you that say you're going to heaven that doesn't exist that will regret it at last so when you come back to this life you will leave that religion so whether you leave that religion now or not you will still leave it you will leave that religion you africans must leave every foreign religion it's only time it will take and that's why we are sowing the seed so if you don't if you don't um, uh, accept what we are saying now of course when you die and find out there is no heaven there is no hell where you are going then you will come back again and uh, amend your ways and tell and say the whole truth as i'm saying the whole truth now so you are not different from those who are killing their brothers in uh, south africa if you are against me you are not different <laughs> some of you wish like you know something happened to my mouth so i stopped speaking if something happened to my mouth i say in jesus name get out it won't get out but when i say in my name get out because i will pull it out i have that power jesus have no such power god almighty have no such power to pull anything out of my mouth to to solve any problem that you have or that any of us have but we have that power we must use that power in our name yes in our name who we are we must use that power to help each other not to hurt each other we must use that power to do good works great works not to harm not to hurt one another somebody i, I have a post, i shared that post in my in one of my groups he said that the czech republic is uh, giving nigerians money to leave their country I said that's good at least they offer them money to leave imagine if the whole world declared the same thing but before they ask us to leave the whole world have to let go all they stole from africa they have to give us all our properties all our minerals and they will stop coming to buy from us unless we want to sell to them or forcing us to sell to them they should stop us from you know, tricking us into selling to them what we're supposed to use to help ourselves. So they should come and work for us. We develop our place first. How I wish they begin to deport us all, including myself. Let us go back and build our place. You say, oh, because it's in America, it's jobless. Okay. And so, do those of you that, how about you that have job in, in Africa? How far now? How you did? You say I'm jobless, or maybe I'm not succeeding in America. Excuse me, in America? Homeless man in America is better than the rich man in Africa. Quote me anywhere, and I will prove it. A hopeless man will walk into hospital and get treatment. A rich man in Africa, go to hospital now. Your life is not safe. You will die. You will die, of course. That's why they fly to abroad. For example, Nigeria. Nigerian president cannot get treatment in Nigeria. All the trained physicians, all the educated doctors, all that nonsense, all the, no hospital in Nigeria can treat the president of Nigeria. Homeless man in America is better than Nigerian president. Yes, I said that. That's why they go to places. Uh, you see Nigerian president going like a slave in places. And they see how they treat them not only nigerian president african presidents they are just like toys in the hand of uh, foreigners especially when they travel to there because they know their land that's why the foreigners can treat africans anyhow they want because they know their presidents are their boys they are only also looking for good life they are not even better life they are looking for good life so that's why they build bank for them they loot the treasury of their country and bring to to their land you know how many nigerian politi politicians that have houses in america i mean they have house, not they have houses before they become politicians in nigeria their children are not in nigeria their children are not schooling in nigeria 
But you say that it's God that has chosen them because your God always choose wicked people over your life, putting wicked people to be tormenting your life, and you say you know what you are doing. Come on, wake up, my people. Brothers attacking and killing their own brothers is evil, it's un African. Africans are one family. Africans are one household. But the evil religion came and brought division and the hate among us. That's why when you read a place like Matthew chapter 10 verse 34 to 36, it's telling you that a man will be, you know, a man's enemy will be those of his household. That's what he said. And also in Luke chapter 4, 10 verse 26, Jesus said for you to qualify to be his disciple, you have to hate yourself, hate your loved ones. Hate and division. He said, do not think I come to bring peace. No, I come to bring division. That's what Jesus came and that's what Jesus brought. It is time we wake up Africans and stop fooling ourselves. We have to wake up and do the right thing. As a people, it is time we rise and shine again. We are the sun. We are the light of the world. The light you have in the world today came from Africa, not from any other civilizations, of course. Our ancestors did that. Why are we turning into animals by faith or by fear? You will have fear, that's why you are attacking your brothers, thinking they are the one responsible for your downfall. Use your brain. You can invent things. If you invent something, those foreigners in your land will buy from it. They will come and, you know, patronize you. Stop being lazy to yourself, especially to your mind. Use your brain, use your mind. You have land in South Africa. Why people occupy your land? You are, what have you done to get the land back? You only run your mouth, but your own brothers, you are killing them. Start killing white people. Let us see how strong you are or how wise you are. Wake up and do the right thing. Stop killing your brothers. Peace.